What's up coaches? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, this is going to be part one of either a two or a three part series about club sports and how they are getting into private training and how they're going to take really a lot of business away from private trainers all over the U.S. Now, this is a really important video. I've posted over 675 videos now on our channel. I do think this series that we're posting right now is going to be probably the most important videos I post. And the reason why is over the last several years, the last six years, I've grinded out on YouTube, right? I have so much content here. Uh, I have made so many connections. I, I do think that I'm probably the most well-connected person in this industry as far as like the connections that I've made. And over the last year, I've talked to a lot of people that own club teams. So this could be like club soccer teams, uh, club basketball teams, club organizations. I've talked to coaches in every niche that own clubs and I'm seeing what they're doing. And what they're doing is they're starting to create their own private training programs within their club, all right? Now this video, I'm showing you what's happening, all right? The next video that I post, I'm gonna show you what to do, but it's not gonna really make sense like as far as what to do unless you know what's happening. Because if you don't know what's happening, like this might be alarming, um, this might be shocking, but this is already happening. It might not be happening in your city yet, I've already talked to enough people that are getting into this space that own club teams that are starting to do this. And here's what's happening, right? So this is the club, right? So we have the big C here in the middle. We got the club. Normally, in a traditional club, they just have practice like two times a week. So they'll have like Tuesday, Thursday practices, and then they'll have games on the weekends. And what's happened over the last decade is a lot of parents who are in that club environment, they want more, they want more training. So they'll do things like speed and agility, private training, injury prevention. They'll do college consulting. They'll do uh, camps and clinics that are not in the club. So those are things that clubs in the past have not offered, right? And so club is like its own product. They have practices and games and they try to truly develop the players, which is, that's their goal. But the kids that are more competitive or the kids who aren't good enough, they get extra training in these niches. So these niches have been created and have been booming over the last 10 years. And I expect these niches to only get bigger in the next 10 years, right? And you're watching this because you're probably in one of these three categories. Like most coaches who watch our channel, Make Money Coaching Sports, they're either in the private training industry for, you know, they train kids, all right? Or they're doing camps and clinics. So you're doing like youth camps and clinics, um, or you're doing like sort of some sort of speed and agility or sports performance training. Um, and you're probably in one of these three niches. You might not be doing these two, but these are two that are really relevant. Um, that kids that play club need help with too, all right? Now, what's happening is this. These clubs have started to figure out, okay, why do kids have to go get all this private training from someone else? Why can't they just get it here at our own club? And the reason why they've started to ask themselves this is because a lot of the coaches that are in club soccer or club basketball, AU, whatever it is, those people have started to realize, oh, I'm just going to go start my own business because I'm going to make more money. So these clubs have realized, you know, they lose a lot of coaches to this industry right here because there's, it's a better opportunity for them to go make money and work less, right? That's just the reality. And these clubs have started to think, okay, well, we can just keep these coaches with us and we can start a private training program within our club. So now these club coaches can make more money. They can just stay here. They don't need to go start their own thing, but and we can feed them clients because these clubs have access to, you know, 500 plus kids. There's some club owners I've talked to that have like three to 5,000 kids. I mean, it's crazy. Um, so these clubs have started to think, all right, well, 
we're just going to start adding all of these services into one club to take away from the private trainers in town, to take away from the people who do speed and agility, all right? And the thing that I've noticed is they can just win on price, all right? And the way that they're doing this is they just have it set up to where it's like, you can pay however much it is per year for club, and then you can pay a little bit more. And with that, you're gonna get more uh, private training. And then from there, it's like the club director or owner, whoever it is, is they're just gonna pay a cut of that to the coach that's already in the club for private training lessons, right? So they can charge less, right? Which means it makes it easier for the club to just keep all the kids in their program, all right? And the second thing that they're doing, and this is kind of a scary thing for a lot of coaches, and a lot of coaches don't even know this, all right? What they're doing, these clubs are doing, not all, but some of them are doing this now, is they have parents sign an agreement. And that agreement will state, if you come to our club and you are with our club, we're having you sign a one-year agreement. And in that agreement, you cannot have your child train with any other private trainers. Like this has actually happened in my city. Like I've lost clients in the past two or three years because of that, right? That is something that has already happened and it's becoming a more like normal thing across clubs, right? And that's bad news for you. And it's because you might be training a kid who's a great athlete, great player, and they're on a good club team. And if their club introduces that, if the parent doesn't prioritize your like skills training program over the club, then they're going to leave. Like they're going to have to, otherwise they're going to have to go find a new club, which it, that could maybe kill their chance of going to play in college. Right? So this is where it's very important. You need to know this information. Number one. All right. And we need to realize two things. I want you to take two things away from this video. I'm not telling you this to be afraid. I'm telling you this because I want you to have a really good business. If you have a really good business, you don't have to worry about a lot of this stuff, even if all of the clubs in your area start doing that, all right? And in the next video, I'm gonna show you really the solutions, how to overcome it, and really what to do when this starts happening in your area, right? Now, I'm just gonna end on one note here, all right? It was about three weeks ago, I talked with a club owner, right? And this was a club owner. I'm not going to say who it is or what city he's in, but he's in a big city. And the club has a lot of kids over, I believe over 2000 kids, right? And I was talking to him because he was asking me questions about, you know, starting a private training program and, and I help people like that. Like, I'm not going to hide that. I, I help anyone who wants help building a private training business. I will help. It doesn't matter. And um, he was like, you know, I feel like this is going to really impact and affect a lot of local trainers that are in our area. And I was like, well, yeah, it is. Like, it depends on how you run it. But like, if you know you want to have that program built into your club, this is easily going to add another million dollars per year to your business. And he was like, yeah, I know. Like, and so I'm telling you that because these club owners are starting to do this sort of stuff. They're starting to just pick apart these different niches and say, all right, we're either going to fulfill that or we're going to hire someone to do that, which is going to be where you can come in to play. I'm going to talk about that on the next video watch tomorrow's video. I'm going to be talking about this subject here, how you can ultimately solve this problem in your community. And so whenever this starts happening in your area, you're going to be chilling because you're going to have the go-to service. That's it. See you tomorrow.